So today I am going to be slow cooking a neck. This is a cheap cut of meat that is absolutely delicious and it's going to go in the slow oven. You can see there's a lovely bit of fat to it right there which will melt in and I'm going to slice and dice up these vegetables, carrots, garlic, some red onions, some white onions. These are homegrown. Um, this is from another friend's garden. So these are all going to be sliced up and then I'm going to put some new potatoes in as well. And it will go into the top left hand oven here and it will be in there all day long. So I will start doing that. And there is, I, I might put a bit of butter, salt, pepper, fresh cut rosemary from the garden in here as well. And then uh, just let it slowly roast. So garlic, red onion, white onion, carrots. Oh, mind went blank what this is. Uh, it's not a turnip, it's something like a turnip. Um, oh, I'm being stupid. Anyway, some of that and some new potatoes to slow roast until the meat just falls off the bone. It's really, really, really delicious. So everything's sliced and diced. A chunk of butter is in there. It's melting because this is the hot ring. So this is always quite warm. So the butter is melting. The salt and pepper are in here. Then um, I put in the onions and the carrots and these this is um it's a caribbean starchy food uh called torados i think i could be very wrong in pronouncing it but it gives a nutty flavor to the stew so that's going in there then um, these are the garlics, and I don't slice them up. I'm gonna use a bigger knife, Put my knife back. What I tend to do is squish them. So I'll just squish that garlic and put it in. These are homegrown, uh, a friend grew these garlics for me. There, and then these, crush these as well. Mm. Oh, they're very healthy garlic. There we go, okay. So I just crush the garlic and it will, it, it'll end up being delicious um, as it uh, infuses the flavors within that. Then put on the new potatoes. Then I'm gonna put a lid on this uh, so that a cat doesn't get anything and go out and pick some fresh mo rosemary to place in there. That will be the next phase. Uh, put the fresh rosemary and then into the top left hand aga for a slow stew all day long. So here's my rosemary and look, it's already blooming. It's, the buds are all about to burst. It looks gorgeous. So, what I tend to do is clip the long ones like this. So I'll take a few of those. There's another one. And I'll do one more here. So this should be a plenty of rosemary. I'll strip the leaves off, leaves off of it and sprinkle it into the lamb next to you. So, but you can see these are going to be blooming very early. And it'll be lovely if we get the red of the berries and the blue of the rosemary at the same time. That'll be very pretty. So, and the sage, here's my purple sage. I wonder if this would work in the stew. Let me just, oh, actually that would be yummy. Okay, I think I'm gonna get some 
take some of this in as well. I need to clip some of this. So there we go. And another piece, there we go. Okay, so some sage, fresh sage and rosemary, purple sage for the, uh, the next stew. And look, the sun is shining. Lovely New Year's Day, 2022. Brindle, leave him be. He's too old for being harassed. Everybody's here to help. I much prefer to uh, strip my rosemary off with my fingers because I find it kind of half crushes the herbs, which then makes them infuse more with the dish. And so I tear the... Um, with my hands, the uh, sage leaves as well. So now I'm going to take what I've got here and sprinkle it. Oh, it already smells so good. So I'm sprinkling these fresh plucked herbs in this stew dish. Put the lid back on. There we go. And open this oven. This is the slow cooking oven. And put this in. Oh, there we go. So it'll be there now for the rest of the day. Slowly, slowly stewing. Quick, close the oven. And put the kettle back on the top of the hot plate. Um, that keeps the, most of the heat in, but it makes it so that when I want a cup of tea or a coffee, it's already very hot and I can just slot it onto the hot plate to boil. So that's the boil, simmer, roast, bake, slow stew. That's the lamb warming oven for when lambs are um, poorly and I want to resuscitate them and they've got hypothermia or something. Yes, and that's a puppy dog. And then that would be the plate warming um, oven. So that's a basics on the aga. Now, to wait about seven or eight hours for this to be edible, deliciously so. So here we go. Oh, beautiful. You can see everything's falling off the bone. The meat is falling off the bone. Easy peasy pie. Beautiful, look at that. Meat can be cut with the spoon. It's just so delicious, this. And look at this gravy. Oh, the juice. Beautiful juice. Look at that. There we go. Now that's what you call a meal.